Resurrection Remix, one of the best custom ROM known for its customizations and now it's officially available for many Android devices based on Android 10. In this video let's take a look at the latest build of Resurrection Remix. Before that if you guys haven't subscribed to our channel make sure to subscribe and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. So without wasting any more time let's get started. So here I have my OnePlus 7 Pro on which I have installed the latest build of Resurrection Remix which is based on Android 10. First let me show you the software information and here you can see Android version is Android 10, Resurrection Remix build version is 8.5.9. For few devices we still have 8.5.7 and 8.5.8. .8. Build type you can see official. It comes with the 5th August security patch and the vendor security patch is 1st July 2020. And one more thing guys, in one of my video I said that I I'll be doing gaming review on custom rooms and gaming review will be on our gaming channel and those videos will be in Hindi. So if you guys are interested in checking out gaming reviews on custom rooms then you can subscribe to our gaming channel. I think most of you guys are aware about Resurrection Remix. This was the first custom room to get tons of customization options. And if you guys want to install this room, I'll mention a video guide in the description below. Along with that, I'll also provide the Google camera video for OnePlus 7 series. This room comes with the Pixel Launcher which is based on Android 10. This will be the first look. Your app drawer swiping towards the right hand side will open up Google feed. This is a notification panel where you can customize it as per your requirements. We get a nice blurry effect whenever we swipe down the notification panel. Basic stuff like alert slider, Volti services works great. Geo services, Wi-Fi calling have no issues. We also get call recording option implemented inside the phone app. The best part of this ROM is it comes pre-installed with OnePlus camera. And also we get the latest gallery APK from Oxygen OS 11. All the sensors works fine like accelerometer, light, proximity, magnometer, compass and gyroscope. If you talk about the quick setting tiles, here you get a lot of options like screen stabilization, FPS info which will continuously display the frames per second. You can disable animations from here, DC dimming, high brightness mode, live caption smart pixels, screen recording, ambient display and also gaming mode. If you guys have used Resurrection Remix before on any of your device then you must be aware about the customization options available on this ROM. I've been using this ROM since yesterday till now I haven't found any kind of major bugs and all the customization options can be found inside the Resurrection tool. I won't be covering all the customization options but we'll cover few of them. Inside the settings, each and every setting menu have this cool animation. Inside network and internet, I did not find any kind of issues related to both the bands. Bluetooth works fine. Here we have the battery section, which will give you an estimate idea till what time your device is gonna last. Inside display, adaptive brightness works fine. You can also create custom themes. On devices which supports 90Hz, we get these three options, which is auto, 60 or 90Hz. Gestures like double tap to wake works fine, along with pocket detection. Inside the lock screen settings, ROM comes with always on display and that works fine. We also have dedicated OnePlus settings, which includes high brightness mode, auto high brightness mode. And if you guys are using high brightness mode, do not use it for a longer time. This might cause screen burn. We have DC dimming feature, notification slider can be customized. Also Dolby Atmos is present on this ROM. If you want, you can also change the vibrator strength. And now let's talk about few customization options which are my favorite ones. So the first one is which I usually miss on custom rooms is edge lightning which can be found inside the interface section edge lightning and from here you can customize the edge lightning as per your requirement. If you want you can also change the colors and here you can see the edge lightning in which you can also set multiple colors. The next one is setting a custom image above quick setting panel which can be done from the panel section, header and from here you can choose the custom image and which can be seen here above my quick setting panel. You can set any custom image. Also we have few pre-installed images which can also be used. Another option in which you can set RGB colors on the quick setting panel that can again be found inside the panel section, quick settings 
scroll down and here we have the RGB mode. You can turn it on and now you have different color options on your quick setting panel. And then under interface, you can also completely customize your fingerprint animations from where you can also choose finger on display icon. And here we have lots of icons available. Last but not the least, we have another cool feature which can be found inside miscellaneous section where we have option of charging and from here you can enable smart charging. You can also set start or stop trigger level for smart charging and it will be a quite helpful feature which will help in maintaining good battery health of your device. And as it's an official build so we'll receive OTA updates whenever we have any update available for the same. So guys these were few customization options which can be found on Resurrection Remix. But other than these customization options there are tons of other options which you can try it out. And now let's take a look at the benchmark results on this ROM. With Geekbench application, single core have scored 757 and multi core have scored 2823. With Antutu 2 benchmark application, device have scored 4,82,342. So guys, this was a quick look on Resurrection Remix and we'll be also doing a gaming review on this ROM which you'll find it on our gaming channel. So if you guys haven't subscribed to that channel, make sure to subscribe because there I'll be getting a lot of gaming tests on custom ROMs in which we'll continuously monitor FPS count along with battery drain and we'll see how custom ROMs performs when it comes to gaming. So guys, as of now only this much in this video. Hope you guys like the video. If you like the video, then do give me a thumbs up. Also, if you're new to this channel, then do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.